Hello, Gyrex fans. My name is Andreas Mien from Ageto, and um, in this demo, I want to give you an overview on how um, easy it is uh, with Gyrex to uh, set up a, a clustered server application. What I prepared for this is just my um, Eclipse workspace with um, yeah, prepared Gyrex target platform and some um, uh, small projects. So basically, I have a JAX-RS application uh, set up to run in Gyrex. Um, how to do that? This is explained in another uh, tutorial you find on the Gyrex website. So I don't want to uh, go into detail on that. But as I said, I have here a JAX-RS application ready in uh, my uh, Gyrex environment. So let's just start with the following. I'm starting up Gyrex and so it's just it's uh, starting so far and the first thing we can do, so I'm uh, starting with a an, with an new or empty uh, runtime workspace and so once this is done, we can have a look into um, the uh, Gyrex administration UI, which is always bound to that particular port, 3110. So we expand the menu and in that uh, cloud area, we just see that my, uh, I just see my single instance, which is my current machine here, and um, this is the only node approved and the only online node I have in here. Um, important point about uh, Gyrex clustering is that we uh, use Apache Zookeeper for cluster coordination. So this means right now this node operates in standalone mode, which means um, it's uh, using its embedded Zookeeper instance. Okay, right now we uh, have uh, set up this. When I look into that application area, I just see the standard setup we have out of the box for that HTTP service, but we don't have any additional application set up yet. I could do that by clicking Add and selecting my JAX-RS application, but I don't want to do it right now because I want to show you how it works in a cluster environment. But to do this, we need to build a cluster with another machine. To do this, I have prepared um, a, uh, a setup or started a virtual machine on my system. So, and uh, this is a Linux environment, and I have basically kind of the same um, workspace in here. Gyrex target platform with that same application. And I'm also going to start Gyrex inside the uh, Linux virtual, via, uh, virtual machine, uh, virtual box, sorry. So it starts up, and in the meantime, we can also in here start a web browser to have a look onto that um, administration console in that virtual box. So at this moment, uh, we just have two separate Gyrex instances without any connection in between. So let's look in here. Go to the administration UI. And once this is starting up, Probably was a bit. So it's the starting that. We were a bit too fast in the browser. So and again in here we look into that cloud section in the administration UI and we see just the single instance that 
other so the virtual box machine is the only instance we find here. So the first thing and easy thing we can do is we can connect this virtual box instance to the um, zookeeper embedded in my Jarex environment, which I run outside in the Windows area. So I just need to connect to that node. So and zookeeper listens on a standard port, so I just need to enter uh, the IP address of my out system, of my Windows system. And it says, okay, I'm connected to that. And that's fine so far. So I can close this for a moment. When I come back to that uh, administrative console on the Windows machine, we just refresh that and look into the cloud section. Then we see there's this other Jirex node appearing in the section pending nodes. And what I just do, I approve that. And then we have two approved nodes and both nodes are online. So and right now they are connected together via Zookeeper. So and um, but um, of course now I want to have my um, application configured. And since these both uh, Jirex nodes are now connected in a cluster, I just need to uh, configure my application once and set up the jetty once and all the preferences automatically go to all the nodes. So what I do here is now, I'm now in, the, in my Windows environment. I'm adding my greeting JuxRS application example. For context, I just use the slash that's um, um, concept we use for multi-tenancy. We don't need that uh, uh, in a special uh, um, option here for our example. But now we need to add a mount where this um, application is listening on. I use a kind of yeah, shortcut URL syntax where I'm kind of leaving out the host and the port. But it's still a valid URL. Setting that up, and I'm fine. When I'm opening a new tab, I look at Jetty's default port. We have bound that to hello, so this is where my application should be, and it is there, so I can just submit some greetings. So greeting one, it appears, and in our small implementation of that example, we actually said on which machine it was submitted. So we see here, this is submitted on my uh, uh, Windows box. And now we can have a look into the virtual box in our Linux system again. So as I said, we have configured that application in, in the uh, uh, Windows um, um, administration UI on, on that machine, but it has been uh, it has, has been made available on the complete cluster, so it's also available on my Linux system. So I can just go into that, and also on this Jirex node, the Jetty has been configured with this URL. When I type in a greeting here, to submit it, then we see it's also appearing, and uh, it's coming from the other node. So this is very easy way to uh, handle the preferences and the setup of a gyrex through uh, a cluster. So it's very, very easy to set up a cluster. And this cluster can be, as you have seen, very easily being extended by just having another machine, starting a gyrex environment, and adding that node into the cluster by just connecting it to the, to the uh, zookeeper, which is uh, the main one. And uh, that's uh, all you need in that area. So far for our demo, thank you.